Hi, my name is Zaina and I'm a Netflixaholic. Everyone loves Netflix, especially during winter when you're laying down in your cozy bed with a snack of your toys, watch Netflix. Those people who are addicted usually watch Netflix for more than five hours. Well, one of them is me. During school days, I always try to stop myself from watching Netflix, but I always end up being tempted by the Netflix icon popping up in the left, in the left corner of my screen telling me to click on it. And as you guessed, I always click on it. <laughs> there are times there are times when I watch Netflix while I'm at school and I've been caught doing that. When I'm eating, when I'm well, doing my homework, when I'm in the pool and even when I'm in the plane. And let's not talk about the other places like the bathroom. <laughs> there are there are according to the population of the world is 7.7 .7 billion and 148.8 million people are actual subscribers of Netflix and those are only the people who pay for Netflix there are also people who use their friends accounts or their family's account and one of them is me, I use my friends account, that's actual footage of me <laughs> the average subscriber of Netflix watches 50 minutes per day and I'm not one of the average subscribers because I watch more than seven hours a day. Especially when I'm in spring break or winter break, I always watch up to 13 hours of Netflix a day, which is not normal because I'm not being produ productive, nor am I doing something that a 14-year-old should be doing. There was this one particular case in India with a man who would watch more than seven hours a day of Netflix and he admitted that he had problems. So he checked into the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences in Bangalore and they told him that he was addicted to Netflix. He already knew that, but he didn't want to accept that. He would watch, he would binge watch series a lot because he couldn't accept the fact that he had lost his job. So the doctors told him that, they, that he had eye strain, fatigue and disturbed sleep. So what this man was doing was binge watching and many of you have heard of Stranger Things and for you, for those who haven't, Stranger Things is a TV show uh, created by Netflix. Well, according to Nielsen, 136,000 people watch all nine episodes of Stranger Things 2, season 2, the first day it got out and again, one of those people was me. According to Dr. Renee Carr, she found out that we find pleasure in binge watching different series because there's this chemical being released in our brain and that chemical is dopamine. So when our brain tells us that I really enjoy this activity so I'm going to continue doing it and then that moment dopamine is released. And Netflix, binge watching in Netflix also causes health issues. For example, Kevin John, a teacher at Brigham a teacher at Brigham Young University said that people, people can, when people lay in a couch for an extended amount of time, that can lead to obesity. And that, and that's one of, like, I do that too, but I'm a, not obese yet. <laughs> but that's what happened. So when I did this research, I was, I wanted to do something about my addiction. So I decided to stop watching Netflix for two weeks. And my conscience kept creeping in and telling me, you're not going to do this, you're going to fail. Because you can t stop watching Netflix for one day, imagine two weeks. And my friends, my family, my teachers were saying the same thing. So it got me mad and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this only because people say can, I can do that. So I kept a short journal for each day and this is how it goes. The first day I was like very bored and annoyed by everything, by everyone. And what I did was I kept looking at the Netflix icon for 15 minutes and I was trying to plan how I could lie to people that I was actually su succeeding. But then I thought that 
I need to be principled so I can do that. And I succeeded. I didn't fail the first day. Day two, I was still very annoyed. And I was tired and upset and mad. It was like I was depressed, but I was not. But I needed Netflix, so I started reading a book. And that book was, well, it was a play. But I started reading that, and it, I was actually enjoying it. But I still didn't think that reading was better than movies and TV shows. And then, but it was fine. And then the third, third day was the same as the first and the second day. And I still kept continuing reading, and I was enjoying it even more that day. Day four. It wasn't as bad as the first three days, but I was still bored. And it was like someone was try trying to torture me, but it, it was me all the time torturing myself by watching Netflix. So I kept reading again. And that time, I was enjoying it more than all the three other days, because I was actually being focused on the reading, other than thinking of Netflix. Day five. I finished reading the play, and it was actually really fun. I found it really fun to read, but I didn't even think about watching Netflix that day, and I felt very comfortable about what I was doing, and every time I would think about Netflix, I'd be like, oh, it's fine, I'm reading, it's, it's okay. Day six. Everyone in my class was watching the new episode of Riverdale, and I wanted to join them, but I couldn't because I was doing this challenge. And everyone was like, oh, look who's not, look, who's not watching Netflix. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not watching Netflix, I'm doing my work. You guys are watching Netflix, which is not what you're supposed to be doing. They were like, yeah, yeah, right. And I actually wasn't as tempted as everyone was to watch the new episode. Day seven. I wasn't as bored. I wasn't bored anymore. I was in a pretty good mood. And I went out and I did something that 14-year-olds should be doing. And it made me feel good about myself. And I had more interaction with my friends. Day 8. I started reading another book, which was not the type of book that I would read, not the genre that I like. But I was really enjoying it, enjoying it because it was something new. I was experiencing something new. Day nine. I finished all of my assignments on time, which is something that I don't really do. And I as teacher should know that. <laughs> and it was pretty good because the next day I was very excited to tell everyone that I finished my assignments and I'm done and I feel very comfortable. And I didn't think of Netflix. Day 10 and 11 were the same because I was reading and again, I finished all of my assignments on time. Day 12, I was a bit bored because I finished reading the book. It was like I was now becoming addicted to books. But I didn't feel the need to watch Netflix anymore. So I fought my boredom with doing something else like homework or helping mom do the dishes. Even though she won't believe that. <laughs> Day 13, I began reading a new book, my third book. And it was interesting. And movies weren't really my... I wasn't really finding movies interesting anymore. So I knew, I always knew that, that movies weren't as good as books. But I just always told myself, no, that's, it's just stupid. Just watch the movie. You're too lazy to, to read the book. And day 14 was the last day of my two-week challenge. And to be honest, I really wanted to watch the two new episodes of Riverdale. Because who doesn't? But I wasn't as tempted as I would be before, before like two weeks ago. And that really helped. <laughs> so, what I'd like for everyone to think about is that I tried new things. I tried reading books and I read two and a half books in two weeks. And it was really fun, actually. I got to interact with more people. And I tried reading a, a new genre of book that I'd never tried before. And which means that I was finding new things to do, and which are more interesting than movies and TV shows. And I wasn't binge watching anymore. What, what I'd like everyone to do is to take a step further and think of like, how, how do you feel if you didn't watch Netflix for two weeks? 
but and maybe try 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 you will try new things and you will find new interests and that will make you very happy and very comfortable around the people that that surround you and maybe you should also try the two week challenge like i said because like it it's new interest and that's fun so then in the end of this two week challenge maybe you will stop pressing the continue watching button thank you